To start off with, we wanna make sure that our base is clean. So I like to use 91% isopropyl alcohol. You can use a lower grade if you want. This just happens to be what I have. And I recommend wearing gloves throughout this entire thing. One, so you don't get any fingerprints on your vase, and two, because the alcohol ink, you do not wanna get that on your hands, so make sure you're wearing gloves. And we're gonna get out a piece of plastic wrap. It does not have to be a very large piece, and it does not have to be flat. Kind of flatten it out to start with, but don't worry about it if it's a little bit crinkled up, that's actually totally fine. Now we're gonna get in here with our alcohol inks. You can use any colors you want. I kinda of wanna go for a little bit of a flame look. So I'm gonna start off with a little bit of black, and a really key thing here is don't use too much. A little bit goes a long way. Next, I'm going to use some cranberry, and I'm using a combination of alcohol inks here. I'm using Ranger and Pinata. All right, next I've got a little bit of terracotta, and try this out, use less to begin with and then add more as you wish. And this one's Valencia orange. I'm gonna finish it off with some yellow. Now I do think I want a little more red throughout here. So I'm gonna add a little bit of red pepper as well. Just kind of in some different spots, creating a little bit of a design. Now we're gonna set the glass right in the middle here. The alcohol ink is still wet, so don't wait too long because it will dry fairly quickly. And then we're going to raise this plastic wrap up around the vase. Now just as a tip too, if you did wait a little bit and it's kind of dried, you can take some of your 91% isopropyl alcohol and you can just spray it on there lightly and that will reactivate those inks. But don't overdo it. You don't want this to be super drippy. So it's actually not bad if it dries a little bit. Then go ahead and pat it all the way around the base. Make sure you get the bottom, all the sides. And another thing you could do too is if you see that you're not getting coverage on a spot you want, you can always kind of peel the plastic wrap down and then peel it back up in a different spot. Maybe you want that yellow to go a little bit higher. Just another option. And you can leave this on here for a while. You don't have to peel it off right away. You can actually let the ink completely dry and then peel it off. But we're gonna go ahead and peel it off now. And then we can do more to it if we want. Just slowly and carefully Peel your plastic wrap down and voila, you are done. If you're not happy with your design, feel free to go ahead and do it again. Like I would probably typically add maybe a little more red to this. I got a lot, little more yellow than I wanted. Yeah, let's go ahead. We're gonna just do that. I'm gonna show you how that would work. So we'll take the same plastic wrap. We'll spread it out a little bit here. I really liked the cranberry color. So I'm gonna go a little heavier on that and I'm gonna bring it up a little bit higher. I'm also gonna add a little bit more black so that that spreads out further. Not too much though, black can kind of take over. Let's get in here with a little more orange as well. And then we'll bring the yellow up higher in a couple spots. Try not to create too much of a pattern per se. And I'm gonna spritz this with the alcohol to kind of blend this a little bit. Okay. And I'll set the vase right back where it was and do it again. As another note, if you are super unhappy with your design at any point, you can very easily wash this all off and start over. You just take some of the isopropyl alcohol, spray it, wipe it, and you're done. Let's peel it up and see what we've got. Fantastic, I'm much happier with that. Got some of that darker color spread around, the yellow came up higher, and we're good. So I'm gonna set this upside down off to the side so it can fully dry. 
If you want, you can save this plastic wrap and reuse it later. It can be reactivated, just let it dry, and then you can kind of even just fold it up or crinkle it up and put it off to the side. When you're ready to use again, just spritz it with some alcohol and it's ready to go. So we'll let this vase dry and then we'll be back. So the alcohol is now completely dry. It dries really fast, really within a matter of minutes. I usually let it dry for about an hour or so just to be safe. And I'm going to put this on my cup turner now so that we can seal it. I like to take the foam off to put it on. I think that's just easier. Get it all the way in there, put it back on the cup turner. I like to put a little piece of plastic down here so that when the resin drips, it doesn't ruin my cup turner. Now to seal this, I am using Mixed Media Girl Artist Resin. This comes in a part A and part B. I've already mixed this up with equal parts. You wanna just use 50-50 of each, one to one ratio, and stir for about three to four minutes, and you only need maybe about two ounces for this base. I'm gonna turn my cup turner on and slowly start pouring the resin on here and spread it around with my gloves. Don't forget to get the bottom of your base and also don't forget to get all the way up to the top here. And do not overdo it on the resin. If you use too much, it'll simply be a waste of resin. You won't really get a better result or a different result even. So once you're pretty happy with your coverage, I like to use a torch to get rid of any air bubbles and that will also help to show me if I missed any spots. Now that I've got full coverage with my resin, I'm going to let this spin until the resin is completely dry, which for this resin takes about 24 hours. So we'll let it spin overnight and then we'll be back. Here's our vase completely dry. I think it is beautiful. It creates this gorgeous stained glass transparent look. And as always, use any colors that you would like. So this is such a great spring slash summer project and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching Home Talk. We'll see you next time.